Well, this is the uh, Ilston Road, fantastic estate. It used to be called the uh, White Post Lane. It's on the street called White Post Street, basically in that direction. But it looks like the street has moved at one point. It's also at this point that the old river seems to have left the road. It seems to diverge through what's now the Tustin Estate. Uh, just as a road would have gone there. You can see this on old, an old map from 1824. Um, there doesn't seem to be any evidence now. There's no stink pipes, there's no, there's no obvious sewers in the ground. Uh, the river seems to follow a path through the Tustin Estate. There is a series of drains roughly at the point the river's supposed to turn. And we're standing roughly where Sarah Street would be and where the river would turn. And just over there by the Iceland would be James Street, that's no longer called that. But the road after it, Sylvian Grove, is still called that. Um, so it's possible the river is somewhere here. I can't see up. First evidence I'm right about the location. You can see the the old stink pipe there, which I think is on Yeo Street. This is not what, where most people think the river goes. Most people think it goes on the road which just has the Toys R Us down there, which is Asylum Road. Uh, but the map I saw showed it coming out roughly here. Obviously these roads did not exist at that point. And those pipes which were used for the sewer system to remove the smell seems to be a strong indication because the rivers became part of the uh, part of the sewer system. So this must have been Sarah Street. And it must cross under here somewhere. I need to cross a bit further down myself. Standing in the middle of the Old Kent Road now. There used to be a station just there called Old Kent Road Station. Uh, by the tile shop, it's where the stink pipe is, not the focus of it. Uh, that would have been where Sarah Street is. But this is stink pipe again, in case the river probably comes from down there. I don't think there's any evidence on the pipe itself of when it was constructed. I don't see any gates. Obviously, it's been modified around to climb paint at one stage. There's another one of these we'll see a bit later on near Asylum Road in Brimpton Park. Uh, I'm wondering if that in the road there could be where the river runs. Uh, I think it's going down here, which I believe is Street. Uh, see if we can see any more evidence of it. I believe this could possibly be. Um, a drain from the path. This seems to align pretty well with where the stink pipe is along this road. You know, I can't hear anything there today, but maybe later on. Let's see. There's an interesting post here. SMLS 19. And the 19 indicates this might be later after it had already been culverted. Uh, I don't know what SMLS or is it SLMS? Slav London Metropolitan Sewers, possibly? We'll find out. And this area seems to have been built quite a lot later, apart from the old Victorian school, which has been converted into flats, I presume, at some stage. Um, I'm wondering if that is an indication that this land was considered too marshy. We've come across a dead end here, which is typical of cul-de-sacs. Uh, so I'm going to have to walk onto the Asylum Road, which is where traditionally the pack is considered to run. Um, and there is, we well, just run there for at least a little bit um, on the, the 1824 map. Uh, but then quickly turns off well, roughly where Brimson Park is. Um, and there is a stick located on that corner. 
doubt it would have been built, this school would have been built over the top of it. So I presume it must be going under the housing estate. Um, we'll find out soon. Peckham Asylum, which actually wasn't a mental institution, but was an old person's home for retired publicans. There is some evidence of some kind of stream running through the north of the grounds, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Most of the accounts of Peck seem to have her going further up the Sallow Road. There's one map I saw which seems to be supported by the sewer pipes, suggesting said it turns off. Um, just down here, somewhere around here, you can see at uh, the, the, the end of the road there's a pub or meeting house lane, which is where the Peck flows meets up with Asylum Road. Oh, in a second, we should be able to see a stink pipe there. So on a map it appears like the river goes somewhere around here and the houses there are much lighter. Uh, there's not much evidence in the road. Oh, apart from perhaps this. We should come on a rainy day. Uh, but there is, just up here, you might be able to just see it. One of the stink pipes. Houses here are renowned for flooding. Um, it seems to suggest that that is roughly the course of the path. Here on the corner of Meeting House Lane, in Asylum Road, there's another one of the stink pipes. It says uh, TWA. M P H D. What the factory name? I wonder if the upper part of it is not original. It kind of looks more modern. Uh, it does seem to suggest that it happened here. And the map has the pack running slightly up the asylum road before turning, roughly where those houses are. Now at this point. Now at this point, where I think the pet goes matches pretty much everyone's account following meeting house lying in her. Just seems to be a common factor in these little brooks that roads would have been built over them rather than the houses themselves. Uh, I've so far I've not seen any evidence. Quite impressive modernist church there. Uh, there hasn't been any of the obvious signs of sewers under this road though. Not yet, at least. Head south, rather than to him with Meeting House Lane, precisely. It should be somewhere around here. There's housing estate. Well, that happens. Essentially, the uh, southern half of the estate was demolished. Um, I believe after a murder. Uh, and there's plans to rebuild it, but it's been, uh, it's been just an empty site for at least a decade. Uh, I can't see any evidence of the, of the river at all. Um, I wonder if the old map of the estate provide any, any indication. I can't see in it. Let's see if we can. A friend used to live on the estate, actually. The part that still exists. Quite a nice studio flat. Uh, yeah, I think we probably left the path. But there is by now the river is roughly flowing down there. Of interesting graffiti, reminds me of the bubble in the wall. Um, so, we're actually probably going to stop following the pack around here because we're going off in search of a river that I don't think anyone has even named. It appears in a 1824 map. It's a World War II story of uh, air, I think an air raid warden been soaked down into it and dying. Uh, there's also uh, stories of construction of a school I think in the 1950s unearthed in the stream. 
But other than that, it seems to be lost from the collective memory entirely. Um, we stand uh, quite close to where the little is um, today on the map. But it doesn't seem to go any further, and I think that's due to uh, the construction of the canal. And the water's probably flew into the canal. Here you can see the southern part of the estate, which was demolished. And the, uh, the peck is running through here somewhere underground. And you can probably see the junction there. It runs through there and eventually down to Peckenbury Park. But we're not going to be following that. Um, a little bit of a walk to do now before we reach the site of what I'm calling the Bellenden Brook, as it follows Bellenden Road. See you then. Here at the start of the Bellenden Road, which is probably roughly where the river ran, and there is less so. I think this might be the one place the road could diverge from the path of the stream. Um, suddenly, the lower line land that way. This is the Bellenden Road. The former school site just past a little was apparently where. The there's some evidence in the 1950s of the stream running from an account, I think, from the headmaster that's called it. And therefore, we should be running from where we are now. And I can't see any of the obvious signs of it. Here is the old. the old buildings have been demolished. I'm not certain where the stream is supposed to run in the site. It's Highshore Road, which meets Elm Grove and then uh, Bellenden Road. Uh, and that's where the old school was. Now, Highshore sounds to me almost like it could be a reference to the bank of the stream. So I'm going to have Look to see if there's any evidence. Down here. But just behind these villas is the school. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to see in. There's a sewerage drain there, but that could be annoying. No theory I had was a park between Elm Grove and Blenheim. Ah, sorry, Bellenden Road could be could be the site. Because it's such a small, small site. Oh, that house was there in 1832. Ah. Oh. Could it be going up here? Or is it following the road? Precisely, let's find out. Could these drains be the site of the former stream? I can't hear anything if it hasn't rained yet. It's due to rain later on today, so we might find out. The only modern evidence of the stream seems to be the headmaster's account of the school. The World War II story, the air raid warden stepped into it during a deep bomb. There's also some stories of the basements of mainly commercial properties suffering significant flood damage along the road. And before that it's just an 1824 map. It's quite hard to find. It, um, I've been looking at maps of the areas for a while and I hadn't seen this one before and it's in surprising detail. Um, but we'll see if we can find Find the river at all. Along here. The first evidence of the Bellington Brook. This is so stink pipe over Grand Park. Now on the map I have the area that shows the river. There's only two roads extending. One of them is Holly Grove, which is called George Street. 
the other one was a road by the school, um, which I've forgotten the name of temporarily, both the modern day and the old day. Um, but I think this is quite convincing evidence. The fact the road stopped, where the Bellenden Road now runs, that there was a natural feature such as the River Her. We're going to keep going down Bellenden Road. We're now entering uh, the main crag of Bellenden Road. You can see the unusual street lights. It's now uh, an art museum. The expensive bit pack up. Now here you can see the Bellenden Road is actually taking a slight turn and the river on the old map before the road existed followed the same turn at the same point. I haven't seen any evidence of stink pipes or drains in the road for some time now. We'll see what we can see as the river heads uphill. Interestingly there's works going on to the school, um, actually for a school project. Um, but there's utilities down here. I don't see any evidence of a stream. Oh. I presume it would be going in the middle of the road. Off the edge. At this point you can actually see that we are kind of slightly in a valley. Uh, Avondale Rise going up there. It's only a hill. This feels almost like the path of least resistance. The stream coming down. Still no evidence. Just following, uh, following my intuition that this road was built over it. Based on the map at the moment. Let's see what we can see. Oh, we're reaching the end now of the, of the Bellenden Road, which takes a curve at the end. And here is where the path of the stream becomes less clear. It suddenly takes a turn, actually the opposite way to the road, and there's a 24 mile just before reaching East Dulwich. Um, but there also seems to be the flood maps. Um, a split and all the houses get flooded around her and it's therefore the first I think the three streams to lead into the Bell and the Brock. This in Cap we are entering roughly the territory to Croydon and Cap Carol. Uh, there's a definite drop in the road here suggests we haven't been following the river. Perhaps it's on this street. Let's find out. Here we are at the very end of the Bellenden Road. There is a sewer pipe there and clearly the river didn't run up there because we're clearly in a bit of a valley here. So perhaps it does follow the Bellenden Road and then turn up here. Let's find out this be where the river is. Here we are at the border of Hayes Grove. It's a relatively recent built estate in East Dulwich. Seems like both on the 1824 and the flooding maps. It runs through here towards, towards the station. And we've just come out by East Dulwich station. Now, this seems to be a second place where the river splits. One goes up Melbourne Grove. The main part seems to go near the dominoes and through a modern housing estate. You can see a valley here, which just seems to have water would flow. Uh, let's go try and find it. Interesting here next to the dominoes. Surface water. It hasn't been raining. This is possibly coming from that though. But this is roughly where the river would run. You had to walk a bit further around. You can really see here the 
Yeah, the railway line. Whether that was constructed just to let the road. Also, the railway line is likely to have followed the lowest ground. So we're going to go have a look at St Francis Road and see if we can see any evidence further on. Ballington Brook. I've reached a junction of the estate where the flooding maps show both of the roads, this one and this one, are liable to flood. So I don't think the roads are following the exact pattern of where the stream would have run at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to follow this way because I know there's a path leading through the fields. We've reached here an earlier block. I think nurses' accommodation originally. There are many problems with suburban housing estates. So they're not designed for permeability. There's a path just there. I don't think there's any way for me to get to it. I was to walk quite significantly back where I've just gone. Which is quite annoying. So uh right Dulwich Hamlet Football Club. And flooding maps indicate the river goes up here and the hetero is also a good indication of a stream. Let's see if there's any modern day evidence. There's quite a few drains around. It's just starting to rain, so we might be able to hear something a bit later on if this is indeed the path of one of the three tributaries of the Bellington Brook. application gets approved. There is a drain here. Oh, I can hear water! Right, we have found it at last. The tree has some age to it, I think it's an, is it an oak? I don't know. There's been a second drain with a clear sign of running water underneath. It seems to indicate this might be the path. Eventually this will lead us to a pond, a small park which might be the source of the brook. runs through the back garden to these houses. I haven't heard it for some time now. I changed my mind actually, it does seem to be a small valley going down here and there is a, there's a few uh, a few trains in the road. Could this be the valley of the stream? We're now approaching what I believe to be the source of the stream, which is a, uh, a pond in this park, which might also feed into the Ephra 
River System, which runs down to Vauxhall through Brixton. Uh, not the main source. Probably not even in the top 10 main sources, but there is some evidence in the flooding map suggesting that. Let's find out. And here is Sunbury Lake. Could this be the source of the Bellington Brook? Or one of the three tributaries of it? So to reward uh, those of you who have made it through this video, I thought I'd show you um, the Environment Agency's flood map. You can clearly see um, the path of the stream coming down the Bellenden Road, and then it seems to split at Dulwich twice, and then go up to this pond uh, near Hearn Hill. And here we have the 1820s map, where you can see the stream running. If you look where Hanover Street and George Street end, it's roughly the path of the stream. And this part of the map shows where the river turns, where the Bellenden Road turns, and then how it seems to confuse itself when it gets to East Dulwich. And as a bonus, this is the peck on Meeting House Lane, Meeting Asylum Road, then turn in. And here it is, crossing the Old Kent Road, heading up to the Alderton Road.